Jesus, we thank you. We bless you for the privilege we call your children. We call your sons and your daughters. Even as we study your word today, we receive special impartation. Yes. Our heart and our mind are flooded with light. Light of your wisdom. Light of your knowledge. Yes. Thank you. Because we would not be the same people who will listen, who will minister even in this period of your word. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Our advantages and privileges in Christ. And today, our man of God is teaching us and he says authority over demons. demons. And the test is taken from the book of Mark, chapter 16, verse 17. I read. It says, And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. Reverend Dr. Chris says to us here, until Jesus came, people didn't have the accurate information about demons and evil spirits. A lot of things that many had thought were ordinary were shown by Jesus to be spiritual. Wow. For example, he made us aware that most sicknesses and diseases had devils behind them. When they brought someone who was deaf and dumb to him, the Bible says he cast the spirit out. And right away, the deaf ears were restored, and the person began to hear, and the dumb tongue was loosened. Luke chapter 11 verse 14 says, And he was casting out a devil, and it was dumb. And it came to pass, when the devil was gone out, the dumb spake, and the people wondered. Mark chapter 1, 32 to 34, reveals the same truth and at even when the sun did set they brought unto him all that were diseased and them that were possessed with devils and all the city was gathered together at the door and he healed many that were sick of diverse diseases and cast out many devils and suffered not the devils to speak because they knew him. There are many today that are ignorant of demonic activities, but the reality is there are evil spirits that are running people's lives. Sometimes you find someone who has a fierce and violent temper. They said his father was like that, and he thinks it's normal, but it's not. It's evil spirit that make those things happen. Yeah, yeah. The Bible talks of, us, of unclean spirits, which also makes people unclean and do evil things in the lives of human beings. Some of them are responsible for the frustrations some people experience in their lives. You find very successful people in various fields who suddenly fall back to emptiness. Mm. They lose everything not knowing they are being invaded by demonic forces. But thanks be unto God, in Christ you have authority over demons to cast them out from your affairs. You don't need a minister to help you cast out demons. Mm. Jesus said, every one of us who believes in him would cast out devils Including me. in his name. <laughs> You'll find in the book of Mark chapter 16 verse 17. We read it earlier on. Is a sign of our divinity. So, if there have been events and actions around you that you are uncomfortable with and you perceive Satan to be behind them, cast, cast him, him out. And this is why it's important that you know the scriptures because that makes it easy for you to understand the environment you find yourself. 
the situation. Nothing that is hurting that was made available to you by God. Nothing in spite of your actions, mistakes, errors, nothing happens to you negatively that God allowed or God bring. The Bible says all good and perfect gifts come from God. So anything that is negative, unpleasant, painful, displeasing, discouraging, frightening, it doesn't matter how it comes. Anger, you know, everything that is not clean is not from God. No matter how you trace it. And you see, it's his responsibility to make you think that he's not the one. That's why, that's how cunning and deceitful he is. He brings it to you and make you think somebody else brought it. It's called destruction. So, but if you know the word of God, like we are telling you now, that everything that comes to you that is not pleasant, no profit in your business, no promotion in your job, no, you are not feeling well, um, everything that is unpleasant is not God. God didn't bring it. Now, you could have ignored certain things that eventually resulted to your failure in your business, your job, but the genesis is a devil. So what you need to do, you cast him out, you concentrate on the word of God, knowing fully well that come rain, come shine, you are a success. You are a victor. So we have been given the authority to cast him out. We have it. He's, he's under our feet. The devil is under our feet. Don't be afraid of him. It's powerful to some people that we speak like this. But it's a word of God that we speak. Don't be afraid of the devil. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'd like us to take the confession together. Please put your hand in your chest and say after me. Thank you. Thank you. Blessed Lord. Lord, for my authority in Christ, my authority in Christ over demons, over demons and, the powers of darkness. and the powers of darkness. Even now, even now, I walk in the light of this authority. I walk in the light of this authority by forbidding Satan, by forbidding Satan and his demons, and his demons from exerting upon, from exerting upon or influencing, or influencing anything, anything that has to do with me. That has to do with me. I hold off demonic. Activities. I hold up demonic activities in my family, in my family and, workplace and workplace today, today in, the in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So shall it be. So shall it be. See you tomorrow. Remember that Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord. God bless you.